Hey guys, it's Daniel, the Bearded Apprentice. I'm uh, launching my new YouTube channel tonight. Um, pretty excited about it actually. Uh, it's been a journey to this point. Um, I started my beard journey hardcore about five to six years ago. Uh, I've always had some type of facial hair, but I just never could get past that homeless, mangy looking stage in the beginning and the itching and all that. and that was just my name for it, but I just couldn't get past it. And eventually one day I was just like, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm just going to do it, let it go. Uh, at first it was just washing, you know, hot, cold rinses, that type stuff. And finally I figured out, nah, I'll just go to Walmart and see if they have something to put in it. And I run into some Amish, honest Amish and went from there. And then I got to thinking there's got to be more stuff out there. And... Yep, you guessed it, went down the rabbit hole. Uh, found people like Scuba and Dancy Bearded and Beer Times with Scott and I think his name was George Bruno, you know, and away it went. And, you know, Googling beard oils and, you know, you come up with companies like Detroit Grooming and uh, Chesapeake, you know, and then there's a few in there that you got to weed through that aren't all that great. Well, in my opinion, aren't all that great. But now it's, you know, after watching for months and months and months and just video after video and, you know, getting all the tips and tricks and learning how to take care of my beard, I feel more comfortable. And I've also noticed more people asking me questions about it and, you know, and I directing them to what I know and, or, you know, information that I know of and where they could get it. And, you know, because by the name, you know, apprentice, I'm always learning. I'm always trying to learn something from the next guy that's uh, smarter than me. And that's, that's one of the things about me. I, I can see when someone's smarter and I need to learn from them rather than try to, uh, or, you know, try to appear to be smarter or know more or things of that nature. But anyway, so I just decided I was gonna, you know, share my beard journey and along the way do reviews of the products that I've purchased and used and didn't work for me or might work for you and just a little bit of everything man like yeah but uh I'm engaged to my beautiful fiance Abby I have two kids a boy a girl uh the little girl likes to pull on the beard she's only almost seven months old so that's a pretty much like a toy for her and I have to keep her away from it but oh well um, my perspective in doing reviews is gonna come from what I like to call a blue-collar perspective um, I want to see how these oils and different balms and butters and different products hold up when I'm outside sweating and working and manual labor and running equipment and doing plumbing and just all different kinds of trades like on an everyday feel and you know I'm, I want to test my products on a seven to eight day rotation you know and just just see how it applies in my world and if it can help you in your world or your in your job or your life or however you can use the information that I come up with that's you know that's a good thing for me that I can help somebody else even if it's just one person you know I just want to do these things the way I see it done the way, the way I would like to see, you know, in different, different aspects, different perspectives. That's what keeps everything fresh is different things coming from different people. And you take from it what you can and what you can use and what you don't want to use. And I've learned a lot like that. I could, that I'm happy about. I, I love learning new stuff on a daily basis about everything, not just my beard, just everything in general. Uh, I may have like a loose ranking system for, you know, products on how they work in, you know, different atmospheres, I guess you would say different, just, yeah, all in different areas of everything. And, you know, everybody has their own perspective. Everybody has their own opinion. And f the way I do things, it's, it's going to be in my opinion. It may not, may not be what you think or what you feel or whatnot, but hopefully uh, you guys will like my concept. And if you do and you like or you like how it may sound, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll know when I'm releasing new content, and hopefully that'll be on a pretty, pretty tight schedule. But also, I would like to have, or, you know, unbox some stuff. I've just got all kinds of beard mail in the last week, and uh, I wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys. And, you know, well, let's get started. First up, I have mail from Ferocious. Ferocious beard, beard mail. That's uh, from Nate Powell in Texas. I got over 70 cents to choose from. Like, it was really hard to pick what I wanted, but I narrowed it down. And uh, let's see what we got here. Well, maybe. Wrapped in a nice bubble wrap. Well, first, we have a ferocious comb. You guys can see that or not. This is a citrus. This is the scent I ordered. Got a little bubble wrap. Clean citrus. Love the black and white labels. Simple, yet effective. Also have the little window here to where we can see where we're at. This thing's full to the neck. Got the black dropper. Shake it up. Well, you pick up on the tangerine real quick and herb. I'm not quite catching the lime. But all in all, first impression's pretty good. We'll get into a review of all this stuff later. Right now I just want to unbox it and get it open. I got the naked butter. I just don't like having all all that. Just if I use an unscented butter with uh, different oils, get different mixes, whatnot. So it comes sealed. You can pick up on the mixture of the ingredients. If you guys can see that. Very smooth. Oh yeah, easy. Very easy melt. Nice consistency. More on that later. We'll get into all that stuff when I do the uh, reviews on the products. And next, next we have mail from Weatherbeard. Corey over in Ohio. I uh, bought some of this when he did a virtual farmer's market a couple weekends ago with Ferocious. Corey's a pretty fun guy. Really likes his coffee. I got the uh, leather and lumber scent. Okay. Comes with a nice card. Nice design on there. And uh, a little letter. It says, uh, hey Daniel, thank you bro. Enjoy this manly scent, it's my favorite. Corey. Well, hopefully I do enjoy it, Corey. We also have a, uh, a card from Weatherbeard with their information, their different social media accounts. Man, he did not want this to come unwrapped, that's for sure. But that's very appreciated, very appreciated on the packaging. Packaging goes a long way. It can make or break a product, honestly, in my opinion. More bubble wrap, gotta love it. And like I said, I got the leather and lumber. Nice uh, brown, almost like a primitive label. You got your ingredients and your your directions, and it's uh it's got plastic around the top, so you know it's sealed. Taste it. 
tamper proof. Nobody wants an oil that's been tampered with. Shake it up. Oh yeah, that 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 cedarwood and pine pine comes through really really well. It's a clean scent. It's it's. He describes it as a masculine scent, and it it is. It's something I think like uh, my dad or my grandfather would wear. You know. Nice job, Corey. I appreciate it. That is a nice smell. Can't wait to get it in beard. All right. Next up, Beard Bento. Alex hooked this up for me. Uh, well, I bought the July subscription. I saw a code for 50% off, and I was like, ah, I'll take advantage of it. I've heard a lot of stuff about this. Uh, beard Code, Devin. He spoke about it a few times. Well, let's see what we got. Nice box. This packaging is awesome. And as you can see, you open it up, you have a flap. And it says thank you and welcome to this month's exhibit. Sincerely, the curator. It's almost like a card. It gives you instructions, you know. All right, let's see what we got in here. First off, we have the Horizon Beard Wash. From blackbeardtrading.com hashtag release the kraken the horizon it's a uh, one full ounce so I mean it's like a mini oh that's a nice smell to it almost like a chocolate smell I think you would that's what I'm picking up on let's see here uh, shea butter and their proprietary scent profile olive fruit oil sunflower seed oil coconut oil jojoba oil aloe vera leaf juice powder water cetero alcohol betaine cocoa glucoside xanthan gum citric acid lactic I'm gonna butcher this acid to tocopherol benzoic acid dehydroacetate acid and blackbeard proprietary scent blend Bottled by the SMGI for Blackbeard Trading Company. It's yeah, that's got a chocolatey smell to it, in my opinion. Uh, next up, we have the Bento Buck Oud Infused Oil. Oh, and I forgot to show this. It's a vanilla bean, tonka bean, cocoa bean, coffee bean, white agarwood oud oil enhanced with caffeine. Hmm. Definitely smell the chocolate. Um, not really picking up on the oud. cocoa bean and the coffee bean I'm picking up on slightly vanilla but no oud and I really like oud what's next next we have rugged smuggler snow melt beard butter beard butter can't talk first video nerves you know And uh, have some, hopefully, have rugged smuggler on the way. Mm. That smells really, really good. Really, really good. Can't wait to try that. Next, we have 
Refugee Bath Company. Then we have a sample of Define Beard Co. Newfangled. Check it. I ordered a bottle of this, waiting on it to get here. USPS has got it delayed. That's a nice scent. Really, really, really nice scent. Oh, it's even got a picture of Tyson. It's just collab. Look at that. Faithfully bearded. Can't wait to get my camera in. And of course, trademark candy. Gotta love your sweet tarts, lemon heads, and starbursts. Thanks, Alex. Love candy. And then, here in the bottom of the box, we have cards from the Ref Refugee Bath Co. about your bath bomb. We have a rugged smuggler. Scan code. Take you to his website on Etsy. You have a Refugee Bath Co. mini sticker. Almost like a mini bumper sticker. And you also have a 10% discount use code, Bento10, for all the brands in this box. That's awesome. You cannot be that. Thanks, Alex, again. And then you also have a sticker from Carrie at Defined Beer Co. Love stickers. Stickers are, like, very underestimated, underappreciated, underrated. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, next. We have, uh, last but not least, um, a few weeks ago, I was on Dave Beard Motivations Saturday Night Hype, and uh, he had some giveaways from the uh, Detroit Grooming Company. I was lucky to win one of them. It was a uh, $20 gift card, and uh, got in touch with Mike at DGC, and he sent me my digital gift card, and uh, I used it on some shampoo. I have a lot of products from DGC. And I uh, wanted to try something different. So I got some head shampoo this time instead. And uh, let's see. Oh, packing slip. Gotta love a good packing slip. Nice paper. More bubble wrap. Gotta love the protection, guys. Gotta keep it protected. It's the. Uh, Peppermint shampoo and body wash from Detroit. That label is sick. These guys really outdo themselves when it comes to labeling. That two tone is, has a uh, protection in it. Oh, yeah. You just get that invigorating, clean smell. It's awesome. Very, very awesome. Well, that just about wraps it up for me with this uh, intro slash unboxing. Uh, really appreciate it, everybody. Take the time to watch this. It's awesome. Uh, it's a great community, the bearded community. We just everybody, everybody's helpful. Everybody looks out for one another, and it's greatly appreciated. Uh, even the small people, the bigger people, you know. It, everybody helps everybody and it's uh, greatly appreciated and uh, as I said if you uh, hopefully you like the concept of my channel and if you do just and, and you like the way it sounds just go ahead and give the video a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel hit the little bell so you'll know when I'll release new content and uh, like I said I appreciate each and every one of you and remember Try and learn something new every day and let it grow. That's it, guys. I'm Daniel, the Bearded Apprentice. Till next time.